five rivers of Punjab to slice your throat from there to there. Oh, ear to ear. Here to there, for oh, that to here. Yes, I said. There will be no throat slicing in my class. If you want to do that sort of thing, you should have joined the sports and pastimes. <laughs> Put your knife away and be a good chap and go and sit down. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa yeah, Maria. Right. He is barbarian. <laughs> You are asking for a kick up your big brown backside. Now look. <laughs> Pay attention, please. Repeat after me. You are English. No, no, I am from Pakistan. <laughs> what am I? You are confusing me. Lucy. <laughs> yes, Giovanni. Was that 8021 or 8012? <laughs> uh, 8021. Look, never mind what number it was. You're here to improve your English, not chat of other students. Yes. Ali, please! Ha! Ah, ah, you know. You are extending your mind! No, I'm not. Put the suitcase away. This is not petticoat lane. Just sit down, everybody. Come on. Juan, Taro, sit down. You're here to learn English. We've had enough disruption for one night. You should leave your personal problems at home. Now, look at your newspapers. Pardon? He's saying you are bringing disgrace on his daughter. Don't be ridiculous. This isn't the Punjab. It's England, a civilised country. People just don't go around slicing each other up, and I shall tell him so. I think I've heard enough. Uh, they are better than they were. They could hardly be worse. <laughs> She's absolutely right, you know. Some of you are very behind with your English. I mean, I spend a lot of time preparing these lessons, and some of you don't take them half as seriously as you might. It's time you all put your shoulders to the wheel. What wheel, please? <laughs> Learning. I think you'd better stay a half hour extra tonight. Oh. Oh. It's Friday night! And I got a date? Yeah, well, I don't care. I want you to do all the exercises on page 53. All of them. And you don't go until you've finished. But what if nobody is missing anybody? We could be being stuck here together until Monday morning. Oh, yes. Yes. We are all going to die. <laughs> Ali, nobody is going to die. Only you is going to die. Me? Yes, because if you say we're all going to die once more, I shall strangle you. <laughs> we are all going to die. Ali! <laughs> Your backside will be hurting in a moment. Oh, blimey. You couldn't even crack a popperdom. I'll give you a bunch of fibers. I'll give you bunches of parrots. Come on, Come on, you say it. Come on, everybody. Were you lying? Uh, no, he's uh, definitely Mr. Brown. He's telling the truth. Ali! <laughs> I insist you look at my driving license. Oh, very well, if it'll make you happy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, imbecile. Yo imbecile? Imbecile tu, yeah. italiano idiota. No, la capitano. Yeah, 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 if you want to argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti. Ah, shut up, <laughs> you big Spanish omelette. <laughs> Facts. Question five. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper, because I like playing in this position. <laughs> Silence! Look, this is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exams. Now, I suggest you all take an early tea break, study those questions, and let's hope that you show some signs of intelligence, otherwise we might as well stop wasting each other's time. <coughs> if they have a baby, it'll be Pakinese. <laughs> Insulting, you ignorant son of a bearded book! Come on, Mary! You are son of an offspring of a cook! I can't! All right, that'll do. Come on, and let's not forget why we're here. You still have a lot to learn. Now, back to your places, everyone, and put those glasses away. I have just met your wife. Oh, jolly good! And I must say, it came as rather a shock. Excuse, please. She's not all that bad looking. <laughs> no, 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 Ellie, you don't understand. You are a married man. Oh, yes. Well, then, how can you possibly be thinking of marrying Sue Lee tomorrow? Why not? Well, it's big of me. Oh, no. It is big of me. <laughs> no, no, Anna, you don't understand. You can't have two wives. Oh, yes, please. It is allowed by my religion. If the first wife is agreeable, then the husband can take another. You mean your wife doesn't mind? Not at all. It is to have the baby. Maybe? Yes, please. We have been now crying for four years, and nothing is happening. 
So I'm taking another wife to have the babies. Yeah, well, it's against the law in this country. But they're not going to be finding out, are they? Yes, they are, because I'm afraid I'm going to have to be telling them. Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, mm, Mr. Brown will be telling you. <laughs> I'll leave. Oh, I'm not sure I like the first alternative. Well, here goes. <laughs> it's foul. Oh, dearie me. I'm thinking you should not have been drinking that medicine. You said it would cure my chest. Yes, but you're supposed to be rubbing it on. <laughs> you poisoned me! Mr. Brown, where can I hang my dress? Oh, I still don't feel too well. I think bed's the best place. What are you saying? <laughs> Finish the bottle. I was just beginning to enjoy myself. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Can you do the other side as well? Hey! Oh. <laughs> I've heard of kill or cure, but that's ridiculous. What are you doing? Acupuncture, very old Chinese custom. I got it from honourable ancestors. Yeah, well, honourable ancestors can jolly well have it back. I may as well warn you that I'm not in the best of humours tonight. In fact, I have a serious complaint. Why don't you go to the doctor? It's not that sort of complaint, Danielle. I'm far from happy with your progress. I feel as if I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Oh, blimey. If you're doing that, you will be getting a headache. <laughs> I checked your homework last night, and frankly, I think you're getting worse. My boss is English, and he say lots of times, through thick and through thin. <laughs> yes, well, your boss's grammar isn't very good, and don't give me the old chestnut about his grandma being very good for her age. I not say that. Good. She's dead. <laughs> Why don't everybody look? There's far too much levity in this class. Don't forget that you have your exams coming up shortly. Now, try and take it seriously, please. Ranjit, S? Eskimo. <laughs> now, Eskimo begins with an E. Thousand apologies. Think of a word that describes you. Stupid. <laughs> you want to call me stupid, you half eaten Pakistani papadam. Don't you call me Pakistani papadam, you brown of chapati. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Sit down, the both of you. Juan. T. Por favor. T. Ha. Ah. T. Hey, T. T. No, 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 but... No, but... Religion not true, only state is true. Sit down, everyone, sit down. No, he is not. And if you're not careful, he will hit you. Daniel. He couldn't. All right, Professor. Hello, Giovanni. This fight. What about it? Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first you smash him in the stomach. And when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. Chuck the back of my head. No, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat, and then you butt him in the stomach. No, I'm not All right, all right, that'll do. There's no more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, no, don't forget why you're here. Juan. Si, senor. Give me the opposite of the following words. Ready? Not ready. Yeah, I haven't started. <laughs> Juan. I, I lost. That's enough. Uh, that's not enough. Stop. Uh, go. Sit down. Stand up. Oh, somebody stop him, please. Oh, oh, what do you think you're all playing at? Squeeze, please. We are not playing. We are arguing. You see, I'm five minutes late and you're all getting at each other's throats already. He's insulting my prophet. And he's insulting my guru. Well, sit down. Well, come on, all of you. Suli, what's up? Sit down. Danielle, I'm surprised at you. What were you and Max arguing about? Well, it... nothing. Uh, honest, I, I just asked her to come for a Greek meal, and I thought we could have a little bit of this and uh, a little bit of that. It's and... a little bit of the other that I don't like. Yeah, well, sit down. <laughs> Giovanni, what were you and Juan quarrelling over? He's a maker fun of Santa Maria. Look, Santa Maria, the Virgin Mary. No, Luigi Santa Maria, the Italian footballer. <laughs> Italian footballers. Animals! You shut your mouth, you big Spanish onion! If you all spent half as much energy on learning English as you do on arguing with each other, you'd be word perfect by now. As it is, you still have a lot to learn. In just over a week, you take your examinations, and I don't think you're quite ready at all. Uh, squeeze, please. 
You are committing a mistake. No, I'm not. You may have mastered a few verbs, but you speak English atrociously. I like to go to the beach, take all my clothes off and lie in the sun. <laughs> Tell me which beach I come and watch. <laughs> Don't interrupt, Giovanni. Sit down. Go on, Donia. Sully, your subject, philosophy. Very good. In Democratic Republic of China, philosophy is for the proletariat where all property invested in community, each member working according to his capacity and receiving according to his wants, as opposed to Western philosophy where proletariat exploited by corrupt capitalists and imperialistic warmongers who <laughs> seek only to oppress working classes and create class hatred. Chairman Mao, he said... That is not true. True. That's <laughs> true. Max, a minute please on British birds. <laughs> Birds, especially blondes. Quiet. <laughs> that is not very funny, Max. Sorry. No, no, no. Darwin's theory of evolution, Ranjit, is that life was not created but evolved from a pre existing form. The first forms of life were in the sea, and then came creatures who got out of the sea and crawled on their legs, then became four legged mammals. Then came creatures who learned to stand on two legs, and then came the great apes. And then came the Muslims. <laughs> Don't you call me ape, you son of a cross-eyed goat? Why? Huh? If I have any more trouble, you'll both stay behind for extra study. Juan. Si, señor. Let's hear your observations on the stars. Por favor. <laughs> ah, si, sí, stars. There's plenty stars. Yeah, well, can you name some? Eh, uh, si. Sí. Uh, Sophia Loren, Brigitte Bardot. Quiet. Uh, sorry, Mr. Brown. Just a joke. Just? Uh, if it isn't too much trouble, can you try being more serious for one minute? <laughs> that is my winning. How can they be your winnings? I am putting the money for 10p in. Here is your 10p. <laughs> you can't in the hands of my money. That is my money, you bearded advantage. Why are the pair of you? Why don't you share the money? No. <laughs> I'm right in my face. Yeah. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Come on, Juan, where is it? Uh, and the table. Brangit? <laughs> Thousand apologies. <laughs>